Welcome to your quick overview of the Sage Accounts VAT Change Utility. The utility can be used to update your tax code rates and identify any data you've got that may require updating or the VAT recalculating. The utilities make it quick or easy to follow and help you make the required changes with minimal disruption. Utilities are available to download for Sage 50 accounts and Sage Instant accounts version 14 and above. On all other versions of Sage accounts, you must make the changes manually and you should refer back to our website for advice. So, let's get on with the demonstration and we'll show you how easy it is to update your data using the Sage VAT Change Utility. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be using Sage 50 Accounts 2010. However, the utilities are the same for other versions. Once installed, a wizard automatically opens. Step 1 contains the software license agreement. If you accept the terms of the license and have taken a backup of your data, you should take both boxes, then click Next. In step 2, you must select and log in to the relevant company that you want to update. If you've got only one company in your program, the date of path is automatically selected for you and you can enter your password to continue. If you've got more than one company, you must select the date of path for the required company from the drop down list. The company name for the selected data is also shown. To run the utility, you must log into your data as manager. If you run a single user version of Sage Accounts and do not use access rights, just enter the password you would normally use. If you don't have a password, leave the box blank. Step 3 lists your tax code settings. To complete this step, you'll need to update the new rate box for your standard rate tax code and select the update box. In this example, we'll update the tax code T1. When you click next, the wizard searches your data for items that might require updating and the VAT recalculating. Step 4 shows the search results. These are the items that have been identified in your data that use the selected tax codes and meet other specific criteria. For example, sales invoices that have not been updated. Depending on your Sage account software and your data, the list can include invoices and recurring invoices, sales and purchase orders, including recurring orders, and bank recurring entries. If required, you can use the options at the bottom to print the list or send it to Excel. If we close Excel and return to the VAT change wizard, we can select the items where we want the VAT to be recalculated. When this is done, click Next. Step 5 shows the items that we have selected along with the old and new tax amounts. Again, if required, you can print the information or send it to Excel. To complete the wizard, click Finish. The wizard automatically closes. Please note that if you've got a multi-company version of Sage Accounts, you must run this VAT update wizard for each of your companies. We hope you found this demonstration useful and can see how easy it is to update your data to account for the increase in standard rate of VAT. If you need any help or support as part of your warranty period or your Sage Cover contract, help is available online, via email or over the phone. Thanks for listening.